This was one of the biggest gaps ever done by anyone ever. I think he was just ready to turn over a new chapter in mountain biking. The whole trip I've been stressing and talking about all these amazing moves that we got to get to, we got to go film these moves. Finally, uh, Mike gives us a go ahead. He says, you know what guys? You guys got one day in Kamloops to shred. There she is. Big old spine, sketchy deals, super steep landing. You know, that thing almost took me out last year. She's a looker, that's for sure. Nice big canyon up. It's like about 40 plus feet across, no elevation change. This is kind of like uh, the Evil Knievel kind of leap of faith kind of style. Part of me didn't didn't even really want to hit that jump because it's, it's not a fun jump. She just fly down a hill, go off a little lip, and fly you know 50 feet across a canyon. If you went too slow, you would case the other side of that and snap your bike and probably snap your arms and legs. Tyler went for it and he was going so fast into it. Straight across. Rear tire cased on the other side and his front end came down so hard. It, it was a majorly scary crash. I thought for sure he had like broken his arm. The buzz harsh, you know? Crash, bang, boom, and he's off the bike again for two weeks. Yeah, I tweaked my wrist out on impact. I really wanted to hit this gap. It's scary. I landed the front tire right into a hole, exploded his front wheel, and then skidded across the road into the sides. But he got up and laughed it off, so it's almost cool when you can crash and you know get up and you know be okay. So basically those were the two of the scariest crashes we've had all trip and they were back to back so uh, it was a pretty intense moment out there and uh, I think we were a little bit concerned maybe about calling it a day and moving on to Kelowna but uh, I just kind of had this gap on my mind all year, um, had a plan and really wanted to hit this thing so uh, we moved on over to Ord Road. The biggest jumps that's ever been done in mountain biking actually is Ord Road. I guess he wanted to represent for his drop in posse. This was one of the biggest gaps ever done by anyone ever. In the beginning, God created the heavens. I'm sure he was probably battling a couple demons in the old brain. And the earth is without form void. Doesn't really talk to anyone. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. You gotta really tell yourself it's, it's gonna be all right. And God says. Let there be light. And... He gets it in his mind, like the flipping of a switch. There was there light. Was light.
cemetery, need a hug, why you tap, super bug, we don't love any ghosts, front and post, CIA, wearing clothes, love a sheet, but we pee, poison up the sugar sweet, Cadillacs, prison guards, move me up behind bars, we can charge, live for God, no matter how. That's just bike evolution, you know? That's I think he was just ready to turn over a new chapter in mountain biking. On the Kelowna. No time for rest. Um, this is a really tech hip. A few guys have hit her successfully. A couple guys have got spanked on it. Um, I'm pretty confident I'm going to touch down on some tranny and uh, ride away clean. This is going to be a nice cap to a beautiful day. Hey, Ryan hit that with style too and no front brake. And it was a washy run out to a canyon thing at the bottom. That's, that's sketchy. So on the Kelowna. Yeah, no time for rest. The light went down, headed for home. And I gotta tell you, I'm really excited. Me and Steve were definitely ready for a homecoming. Wow. Wow. Here we are. This is uh, Steve Romnock's house. Um, I'm happy to be here. I know Kinrad's happy to be here. Mountain biking in my hometown, Kelowna, BC. Me and Steve have been begging to come here the whole trip. A month and a half later, here we are. Blue skies, green grass, new trails. Well, uh, Zay Anderson's here, and uh, Steve's best buddy from right around the corner. And uh, yeah, he's looking a bit rough this morning, like all the boys. Step off, why don't you go troll in the bush or something? Dude. If I was from the K dot, I think I was hot stuff too. I'm not, I'm not showing him any love. Go back to Nelson, buddy. I don't want your love. <laughs> We're gonna destroy this. These guys, they're talking smack. I don't know what's up with them. What a dreaded haired freak. Your hair is like weird. We're at the top of Glory Road Trails, and we're gonna pin up. I just got a flat tire right on the top of my local trails and uh, we just realized we forgot to bring a tube. Out of nowhere, Schnapp, he started killing it. Well, I think I can nothing this jump. It's really sketchy though. I just gotta uh, get my mind around it and go for it. Man, this has been the best summer of my life. Getting to ride with all these pros, I've learned so much. It's the best thing that could ever happen to me is dropping. I'm so happy right now. We started off with a lot of talk today. Once we got on the trail, we all just started to get along again. That 
that's the first time anyone's ever hit that line. Yeah, it's kind of geary coming up to these things that don't have any run-ins. I like it that way. I like having a little bit of sketch to work with. That trail has taken on a whole new other life after the burn. It's a nice metamorphosis of the trail and it, uh, it really worked out for the best, believe it or not. Just the contrast of the beautiful lush green grass against the black trees is like something that you, you know you see and it just it, it'll, it'll be with you for a long time. It's like, you know, it's moving. It's been great hanging with everyone. It's been really rushed this past little bit. I found, you know, we're jumping from spot to spot and just rush, 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 no sleep. But I'm really impressed with all of these guys on how professional they've been. Like, we know what we have to do. We have stuff to do. And I'm amazed in what I've been seeing and it's really inspired me to, you know, ride harder and getting me back into it. Thanks for coming out with that. Oh, sure. Yeah, man. It's been too long. It's Brad, see my boy again. My bro. Props to you, man. Keep shredding. Peace. First night back, I had a, had a little bit of a shaker. <coughs> Look at what else we got today. Yesterday came in uh, first copy of Genesis. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I guess the party got the best of me. Shoulders all swollen, a little straight back there. And I uh, can't lift it at all. I'm out for a bit. Ice it up. What's up, y'all? This is Lyrix Point. You know what time it is. I had to come in and put this down for my people, Zion. Nah, we about to get into this Bay Area style. What y'all think about that, huh? Oh, uh. L to the Y to the R to the I to the C S B up in a disguise like Peter Parker. We the dominant team. Leaving needle marks in your feeble arm. People be alarmed. Get you high like a spider bite. L B and Zion. I ride or die. Pedal to the metal in the hyperdrive. Kind of like Iron Mike Tyson in a title fight. Right before they locked him in the joint before 95. I don't mind putting a lot of pressure on producers. I come tighter than whatever they used to. If you give me heat, I'll come tighter than usual. But the beat really has to be the private life. No doubt about it, I'm down to my style. Unforgettable like riding a bike. You couldn't find a style like mine. Handle lifetime more with a high price private eye. Before I even ride a single mind, read the fine print. My pen don't write shit. Handle time spent till we get the dollar signs right. And Line, man. Got five in lessons, sky high rent. Then sign your name on the dotted line the same way that you write it on your driver's license. Yeah. Then open up the documents along with the deposit deal. Sign, sit, yeah. deliver, and find the Lord, you show me the best, you show me the worst. I put in the work until put in the hearse. This life is a search all over the earth. We travel, wanna unravel, lyrically battle, seeking you constantly. Over my shoulder and every day. You talking to me and I pray. Better this way, it's never a masquerade. It's real, something you feel. Deep in your chest when I'm pressing a meal. Lessons are fresh like the last of a meal. I'm getting rougher as part of the deal. That we can live, we chill, no killer be killed. We will reveal the heavenly seals I'm feeling the real like Godzilla with skill Give me the word and I'll build for the skill Just give me what I need To help me lace the tracks Just give me what I need Give me what I need To help me face the facts Just give me what I need Give me what I need To lead us not astray Just give me what I need Give me what I need To represent the bay One love Yeah it's about looking good on your mountain bike. It's about doing sick tricks. It's more about style. Bringing the more gnarly aspects of the sport and uh, making them shine. I had, I had a little spill yesterday on the old knee and uh, ended up bleeding in the, the knee pads. So I washed them this morning and uh, they were wet. So I got a tech tip on how to dry them. Just uh, simply place Velcro strap, Velcro tightly. Set it and forget it. Should we drive by the trail, kids? This is your tech tip. Last year, the fires raged through our, all our parks and uh, trails here in Kelowna, about two weeks after drop-in left. Pretty devastating. Burned most of our stuff, but uh, basically just forced us to rebuild. It's cool Ryan McKenna has been out there building the whole time I've been gone. Uh, my name's Ryan. 
I uh, pretty much do all the maintenance around here now after all the burning went on. After his nine to five, instead of riding, he's out there building because he cares about the scene. Uh, we're doing like a full-on uh, little clean sesh because uh, we gotta go across the border. Where's the and We gotta freeze? beam off this whole this whole bus. You know, get her all spick and span. How come we're the only ones cleaning? Sorry, question. I gotta get that landing fixed up, man. That speed, that speed compression is just gonna ragdoll me all the way down there. Yeah, Ryan. Ah, I'm not gonna send this gap. I've sent this gap too many times. Oh, this landing was so beat. Look at the friggin' death jump underneath it. This is, this is insane. I can't believe people jump this on their bike. Yeah, I so want to see it. Like, right you now? see it? You excited for them? Yeah, man, no problem. Still a little worried about that uh, big old compression down there because it could ragdoll when you hit that thing. You're hitting that about 60k when you land, and uh, just worried about getting knocked over the bars when we hit that thing. The kids, all they wanted to see was us send the large road gap. It was just all about just going and doing it and getting it done for all these people. It's Stephen's mom. And what are you doing here? Watching him jump. This is something you don't often do. Never. Why is that? Because he doesn't like me to come watch him. He asked me to come. First time. Cool. You excited? <laughs> I am. Dropping in. You gotta make sure a jump that's this big is is good to go, you know. You know I think part of this could have been prevented if we if we buffed her, you know. Probably would have got up and walked away from that. It hurts seeing your buddy go down. I've seen Steve get up with a totally torn out knee, stand up and walk out and uh, to see him on a stretcher getting wheeled away, the paramedics was uh, pretty shocking. Okay, Steven, you're gonna feel a little bit tiply, okay? But we've got you. Okay? His mom, know, the first time his mom it, comes to see him jump, he kills himself, himself on something he's done. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at the landing. But, you know, how are we gonna continue the last leg of the trip without Steve? How are we gonna have drop in without Romana? I guess that night he checked himself out of the hospital without permission because he didn't want the drop-in bus to leave to the United States without him. <sighs> Dude, I'm lucky to be standing. Uh, I think everyone was just kind of shocked and looking at me, shaking, shaking their heads that I was even planning on coming, you know? Just and don't hit gaps like, that big and walk away like that. The kid's so dedicated to the show, 
he, can, he can't think about his own well-being. All he can think about is finishing the tour. I cannot believe Steve. He Why? took one of the hardest crashes I've seen in years. And today he's like, yep, packing my stuff up, getting ready to go. Come to Utah with you boys. I wanted nothing more than to come with the whole crew down to Las Vegas. It was building up all trip. It was like a dream of all of ours to get down there on the bus and cruise the strip. Made the decision that I wanted to come down and I wanted to come down and try and ride. I'm, f I'm fully confident that he's the toughest kid in mountain biking. It's really, really respectable. It's also a bit crazy, but all the good riders have a little bit of crazy in them. This is an epic moment. Okay. You yeah. drop in history. Okay. Okay, everybody, I'm here to give you your uh, pre border crossing pre pitch. And uh, you must all behave, you must all be non drop in dirtbags. One moment. This means we get searched and it means we get Vaseline. Oh yeah! We're going to the States! Oh my god. Boy, are they in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this. Easiest pie. They're just like, ah, hey, great. Yeah, hey, got some paperwork. Hey! Paper paper work. hey. <laughs> Who wants to go to Las Vegas? I do! <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, what's left of old Betsy right here. You know, it's not too much. The door, the door still operates, almost functions. But you know, I think we'll uh, fix her up, a little duct tape, and uh, we'll have her back on the road in no time. So basically, what ended up happening was I fell asleep behind the wheel and uh, drifted off into the ditch at about 100k. Can't believe I'm alive. I don't even remember that part. I was knocked out cold. I, I just remember going into the ambulance. Oh, you're going weird to Las Vegas. Yep. Why would anybody want to go to Las Vegas? For the times. <laughs> <laughs> We've already gone through like 20 of those DVDs. I brought them all to take to Vegas. And they're all gone. Tim, speak your mind, buddy. Speak your mind. These guys are idiots. It's constant babysitting. I can't believe it. You just try to raise them with some love and respect and you hope to get some respect back and you get none. You just get oh, used. Bus driver. You get abused. Like why don't I just why don't I just lay on the ground and you just trample on me? What do you guys think of that big bump in the landing? I don't know if why why is that there? NATO, NATO so, said it was he dug it for the four by four. Yeah so yeah, they I don't know, come up. It looks like it'd take someone out. Yeah. yeah okay. That's why they don't like come out. Right?